This AroundWellington.com news spot has been brought to you by Mary Sue Jacobs, broker of Destiny International Properties of the Palm Beaches. Mary Sue has 28 years experience and offers full service listing packages to owners wishing to sell their homes for only 4.5%. She'll also share her long list of references. Specialties include equestrian farms, luxury estate homes, investments, and family housing. Plus, she's available 24-7. Mary Sue says, we do what all the large franchises do, but we do it even better with personal service and major marketing plans. Call her today at 561-791-2501. We're here in Wellington on this beautiful Sunday morning at St. Michael's Lutheran Church for a very special service. Pause for a blessing. Most of the time, it's the people that go to church to receive blessings, but today, all God's creatures, big and small, will be blessed and honored. Here with Chris and Aiden, and they're here for the Pause for a Blessing. And tell us a little bit about what brought you here. Uh, well, we've been members of the church for I don't know, three, four years, and uh, we just thought it'd be a good idea to bless our pets. We get blessed all the time, so we brought our pets along for oh, that's give them give them a chance. There. So tell us, what do you have? A guinea pig. A guinea a guinea pig. What made? Wow, they like each other. <laughs> this is Brewski, and she's a little Chihuahua. She's six years old, and she comes every year. This is my dog Buddha, and he's a Puggle. It's half beagle, half pug. I rescued him at a rescue in New York when I was living there. And when I... This is Rainbow. She's a little lovebird. Um, we call her Killer because she has major attitude. And this is Maggie, and she is a blue Quaker. We're here with Heidi Spranza with Paws for Liberty, and tell us a little bit about your organization, Heidi. We are a nonprofit that we raise and train service dogs for disabled veterans with the primary diagnosis of post traumatic stress disorder. And we also use 99% of rescue dogs. So it's a win win. Um, we rescue a dog and we rescue a warrior. We have a website, it's www.pause, the number four, liberty.org. Here we have Rocco, and Rocco seems to be the star of the show because he really wants to be on camera. So tell us a little bit about Rocco. We just adopted him about three months ago from Peggy Adams. He's four years old. He's our fourth dog. The animals waited patiently and sometimes not so patiently for the blessing. The service today also included a remembrance ceremony to recognize pets who have passed on. It is amazing to see how much connection there is with the animals when they're receiving the blessing. We're here with Ryan, affectionately known as the pastor in pajamas. So I see you brought your whole family, including your dogs. How did the dogs like the service? Uh, they enjoyed it a good bit. Um, I think they uh, appreciated the kids' sermon, where uh, yeah, they were going through the ABCs and different animal names. They recognized a few. When it got to cat, they were barking a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You have quite the intelligent dogs. So tell us a little bit about how you started this and what it means to you. Well, St. Michael's had the pet blessing for several years. Um, it's really in honor of uh, St. Francis of Assisi, who um, was a big fan of pets. And, um, you know, we, we believe that God comes to us, uh, God's love comes to us in lots of ways, and one way is through our pets. And so we want to honor that and um, give the community a chance to express their love for their pets. Zero. We've been doing this several years, and I'm not aware of one accident, which may be a minor miracle in itself. <laughs> <laughs> Today was a beautiful day in which animals of all kinds and sizes were blessed and honored. For AroundWellington.com News Spot, I'm Brian Hayes.
Alessandra, we're here and we're actually going to be interviewing, this is the first time I think ever, is we're going to be interviewing the guinea pigs. So, um, what do you have to say about the service? How did you like the service? Uh, oh. <laughs> um, I think she liked it. 